What's up, y'all? This Aunt Glizzy, this Bob Sun TV. And the day we got, I got arrested in 2014. It's a closed case now, but in 2014, this is all allegedly. Y'all put your own stories together. This is this is like, uh, it's over. With. I guess I could talk about it, but all right. In 2014, I was at a girl house. I was at the girl house, and a package came to the girl house. I signed for the package. I signed Johnny Cochran. Long story short, it was five. I'm trying to look at my time right now. It was five, or it was like four or five pounds in the uh, in the package. I didn't know what was in the package at the time. I didn't figure out until the paperwork. Until the paperwork came out, I didn't know what was in the package. It was a gun in like the room in a drawer. It ain't had no clip in it. The clip was over there, the gun was over there. And I was at the girl house, y'all. Like I was in the girl house, her parents weren't in there or nothing. Like nobody wasn't in there, just me and her. I had spent the night the night before. It's the 25th. The girl, my girlfriend at the time. It's the 24th. This shit happened like the 24th. It happened around Christmas. Like the next day or two, her birthday. One of these days, her birthday. Like the next day or the day after her birthday. So I'm in her house, and I'm still sure package come, package come to the door. The, the package come to the door. Once the package gets to the door, the police just come out of nowhere. As soon as the package, the name was about to be signed on the drum, the police came from nowhere. Police, hands up, this, that, and that. Long story short, police come to the door. Now police in there talking about a box, a package. I'm like, I don't know what's in the package. I don't even live here. I just open the door, seeing the UPS man, and... It is what it is. That's what I said. So, told you I'm in the girl house. The girl who house I'm in, it's not her house, but she lived there. We kids, y'all. This like, this like, this like. I'm probably like, I'm younger. I'm not even in my. I don't, I don't even remember. It's 2014. However old I was in 2014, I only brought it up because they making YouTube videos about it. I ain't scared to talk. About it. I think I spoke on this before. I got locked up with some pounds back in the day. But what else happened? I right, long story short, the police come in, the, the police, the undercovers, they jump out the back of the U-Haul. I mean, that U-Haul, the FedEx truck or whatever, the mail truck. And they all come in the house. Now in the house, they got me detained. There's only me and her in there. They find, got me detained. Now they searching the house. They search the house. They find a gun in the house, somewhere in the house. They got her in handcuffs. It's her house. I'm not going to go. They're better, they better they not about to lock me up for anything. Like I don't even think I'm going to jail. So now they got me downstairs in a chair sitting down, handcuffed. And they asked me, I got the right to remain silent, do I want to talk or not? I'm like, I ain't tripping off no lawyer. I talk, like, what y'all want to know? They like, who is, who, basically, like, who package this? I don't know nothing about the package. I don't live here. Who gun is this upstairs? Because we got to take her to jail for the gun. I said, the gun mine. I swear to God, I told the police. I said, the gun mine. I said, they asked me where I got it from. I said, I bought it on the street. It might be some... The case out here, like, you can go look it up. My name Anthony Evans. Like, go look it up. Y'all ain't, ain't hiding. Ain't nothing sealed or nothing. So long story short, they about to lock her up. It's her birthday. I got $100 in my pocket. She about to go to jail for a gun in her house that got found in her house somewhere. I'm not about to let her do that. This is my girlfriend. Like, it's my gun, officer. I go to jail, let my lawyer deal with it. It says not my gun. I know in court they can't prove a gun that's in somebody else's house is not mine. It's just at this time I'm trying to get her out of the handcuffs. There's nobody there to snitch on. There's nobody to tell on. There's no other people involved in this as anything. It's a package came from somewhere else, like another state. So long story short, I get to the jail. They take me to Maryland jail, I think Upper Marlboro. I got a bond, like a $10,000 bond. I bonded out in six hours. Like, I bonded out. I never seen the jail, never put on jail clothes, never went upstairs, never nothing. Went to like a commission or something, and they gave me a bond. I just called the bonds people, and my peoples paid it, and it was paid, and I was out. And then when I got out, I got a lawyer, McKenna. Once I got McKenna, McKenna had told me, bro, you don't live there. Ain't nothing in the house. You don't even be able to charge you with nothing. If you don't want to get your girlfriend charged, they might can charge your girlfriend with something that was in the house. But if you don't want to get her charges, that gun, nobody plead to that gun. Let that gun just go away. We don't know who gun that was. She don't even know who gun that was. She not in control of the house. But the weed, the weed, like somebody, I said, so I don't have no charges. He was like, that ain't nothing. I'm going to take a cop. I got unsupervised probation. I got two years unsupervised probation for like four or five pounds. I still don't even know what was in the box. I never asked. I don't care. Like, fuck it. It was some weed. I would have took the time if I had to go to jail. But I did the real nigga thing. Ask the girl. Her name, I don't even want to put her name out there, but... She was about to get locked up. That's why I told the police that gun was mine. I told her I ain't telling nobody. I bought that gun off the street. I don't know who with the street. I bought it off the street. I ain't about to let her go to jail. It's day for her birthday. I'm going to jail. Fuck it.
When I get there, let my lawyer deal with it. I didn't go to jail from it. I got two years unsupervised probation, I swear. Don't y'all know when you learn your lesson, I learned my lesson. I haven't been to jail since. Since I caught that charge, I swear I've been on a straight nerve. I ain't did nothing else. That was this close from going to jail. Like, I ain't know. If I'd have did that in another state, y'all, I'd have still probably been in jail today. That was Maryland. That only happened in Maryland. I got unsupervised probation. My lawyer named McKenna. I don't know if it's Brian. I'm so long gone. I don't know if it's Brian McKenna or John McKenna. It's the father. McKenna, the father in Maryland. Ask him. My name is Anthony Evans. I was his client. Like, I ain't got nothing to hide. It'd be more so. People trying to make us just, just tarnish my name. But make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to get 100K subscribers. But, yeah, that's how the story go. A box came. I signed for it. I signed a weird name. Like, I didn't even sign my real name. Nothing in that house was mine. It's not my home. Like, if you know law, I was in Fort Washington, Maryland. I'm from Washington, D.C. I got caught in a house in Fort Washington, Maryland, and somebody sent some mail that's not in my name to a home. They found a gun in here that's not in my possession on me or nothing in a home. I don't own nothing in this house. I can't be charged with nothing in this house. The girl in here can't be charged with nothing in this house if you got a good lawyer. They was going to try to charge her with the weed because she seen, like, uh, something about... I was, something about the signature and the, the weed, like, I don't, it was more so the weed they were shipping off of. We didn't even know it was in the box. I swear I didn't, I didn't know it was in the box. Guess what I told him? I take a cop to the weed. If I take a cop to the weed, what happened? My lawyer told me, I can give you two years unsupervised probation. I didn't even know what unsupervised probation was. I took the two years, and I ain't been locked up in 10 years. Like, how long was that, 14? I ain't been locked up in nine years. I ain't no jail guy. I learned my lesson. You only got to, just, you know, you touch the stove one time, you burn yourself. I won't touch it again. I know. You're going to burn yourself. But I ain't doing that. So it is what it is. I'm just blessed I had lawyer money and people and the high power to help me. And like people trying to incriminate my courage and talk about old charges. But just because you can go case search something and print it out does not mean the person hot. Just ask. Like stop making up stuff with money. Like please let it go. It's a female involved in this story. I promise you all you got to do is find a female interviewer. Ask her anything. She's going to tell you I'm the realist. I'm like, fuck no. She was in there crying. She didn't, couldn't even believe I told the police that was my gun, bro. I did everything in the world for that girl not to go to jail. It was about to be her birthday, bro. Ain't going like that, but part of the game, bro. It's on my record. So everybody trying to slander my name, ain't you hot, ain't you snitching them. Who is there to tell them? There's nobody to tell them. Just package me a girl in a home. What I'm telling them? Uh, the, the wood? The walls? Like, <laughs> I'm the realest that ever did it, bro. I've been in them rooms before. I know what to do and what not to do. The only reason I waived my rights because I knew they was going to try to take her to jail for that gun. And the only way I can not get her to go to jail for that gun, if I tell them it's mine. If I tell them it's mine, my lawyer deal with it in court. I know I, don't, I know nothing in this house is mine. I don't even live here. I don't live nowhere near here. I never got mail here, nothing. It's like, it's my first day in this gym. Like, I literally snuck in it. Like, Bob or son. I'm the realist.